And here we go. First time driving the Cybertruck. And again, I've got to get used to driving on the other side of the road as well. Because I've been driving a <laughs> lot in Singapore on the other side. I'm here with Dennis here in Los Angeles. And he's one of the first few owners of a Cybertruck. You ordered this in 2020? 2019 actually, 2019. like November, right when that live stream ended, I pressed the buy button for that $100. So what the early adopters and today we're going to join Dennis for a short drive experience. He's going to supercharge this. The amount of attention this truck gets is phenomenal. So let's head in and click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. Well, sweet. Before we get into that, let me sh let me show you a couple of, you've seen a ton of, you've seen Cybertruck before. Is it your first time? My first time with an owner oh okay okay well then come on let me show you a couple of different things with it um, so of course we got the tunnel cover you can open it with a button and then we've got a soft drop lift gate and pretty good big pretty good big bed size six foot long four foot wide you've probably seen in other videos that there is also a couple plugs down here, 110, two 110s and a 220, which is really nice. And then on top of that, this tonneau cover is lockable as well. And you've probably seen that it can support up to 300 pounds. So if I stand on top of it, would it be okay? Yeah, do you want to jump on here? Let's try. Here. Yeah. Just don't jump. Just don't jump. Here, yeah. moment of truth. I'm 70 kgs. So for our American friends, we're going to convert this to pounds but I'm not jumping and solid. It's really solid. Not bad. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis, for this crazy experience. Of course. And then on top of that, what's really interesting is go ahead and jump in the driver's seat. Push the brake. Now turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. That's it. That's it. It's Steer by wire, which means it's freaking easy to drive. It's like flying an airplane. Yeah. And this is the first Tesla to steer by wire. We hope it comes down to the rest of the models. Sexy range soon. Exactly. Now steer all the way to the right. Damn. That is it. <laughs> this is crazy. And I heard that when the car is off, you turn the steering wheel, the wheels won't move at all. Exactly. Yeah. So it's kind of weird like that. So you can come out now and you can see how much the wheel turns. Whoa. Get the wheel back there. Yeah, so it's pretty crazy and it makes it, I mean, the truck is really long, but because of that rear wheel steer, it makes it actually really easy to drive in the city and like parking spaces and things like that. So let's head in and take a drive to a nearby supercharger yeah. and talk more about the driving experience. See you in the front seats. Do you want to drive? Can I? Yeah, go for it. The chance to drive the Cybertruck for the first time. Now, Dennis, you own a uh, Model X, so I heard that it's as wide as an X, just longer. Yeah, so the Cybertruck is definitely longer. In terms of width, I don't know how, like, what's the difference is, but um, it's 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 easy. It's it's actually easier to drive this than the Model X, and until you get to like parking spaces, garages, and things like that. You can see that there's a guy next to us who <laughs> wants to take a photo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna leave in like two seconds, but yeah, just, go ahead. Just a quick one. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Show my buddy. Yeah, go for it. I was uh, I was on the waiting list and I ended up buying this. Uh... So well, before we leave while we're waiting, uh, have you touched, have you played with the Easter egg yet? So I heard that if you tap, look at that. <laughs> no. What else is there? So that's, that's the window one. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I could find at the moment. That would be funny if there was one like here. Or you see the bullet like holes, that. right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so then it's going to guide me. Yep, so there's a supercharger actually really close. So we'll just go to that one. Okay. Uh, but the one thing just be aware about this highway is very um, narrow, windy. And so you do have to speed up really quickly to be able to get up there. So when okay. you get there, you'll see. So Dennis is going to guide me. Yep. So just drive. And here we go. First time driving the Cybertruck. And again, I've got to get used to driving on the other side of the road as well. Because I've been driving a <laughs> lot in Singapore on the other side. The, the driving experience is... It's very unique. Yep. It's not like the Model S or X. 
No, yeah, and it's uh, louder too. Like yeah, right, you can right now, models. right now the the battery is warming up, so you can hear the preconditioning. Yes. But when it's off, you can still hear the motors. It's much louder than uh, the Teslas. This car is so high. Like, it's definitely much higher than a uh, Model X. Again, this is my first time driving a truck. Yep. So that's pretty insane. Is this your first truck, Dennis? First truck, yeah. First time truck owner. First time electric truck owner. But I've had all the Teslas, the Model Three. The Model Y, S, and X actually. It's crazy. It's still currently on the X. But I would say that this truck is 30% more comfortable than the X. Huh. Yeah. Now, one thing a lot of people may be surprised with is that we still do not yet have autopilot and full self driving on the Cybertruck. Yes, yeah. There's no autopilot, no full self driving, driving no auto wipers. Okay. So, like the, for the windshield wipers. And on top of that, no park assist. Okay. Now, I'm just trying to get used to how wide this car is. Yeah. And again, the turn signals are here. There's no stops. Freaking interesting. <laughs> Everyone's looking at this car. <laughs> like you're so self-conscious about it. Yeah. I know, Danny, so you must be very used to it already by now. Oh, yeah. It's uh, everywhere you go, there's attention. Yeah. And the funny thing is like, it's it's attention from all demographics kids females males and all ages too everybody loves it okay so a shot right here mm -hmm. and here's where you can see it's so easy to turn this car it's insane the turning radius is almost better than a model y yes what on earth? way better it's almost better than i think a model s actually it's freaking easy to turn this car yeah okay so here's where you have to accelerate fast I'm going to go after this truck. Wow. It's a really, really nice car to drive. Yeah. What do you think about the Squircle? The Squircle, tell me more. So, I mean, the Squircle is the, the steering wheel. It's a square and a circle okay. at the same time, so people are calling it the squircle. I like it because it's not as big as the yoke steering in the old S and X. Mm -hmm. Tesla just refreshed their yokes, their yoke, so it's a better material, it's more durable. But I like this a lot more than the the yoke. Yeah, it's more comfortable actually, and it's nice to put your hand on top yeah. as well, uh, you know, the left and right. And again, it's got the handles on top and bottom. It's easy to turn. It's really a very easy transition from the wheel. Yeah. No problem at all. Exactly, yeah. It's not bad at all. Okay, just another two miles and then exit 31. B on the right. Wow. So just keep the right lane. Yeah, you can just stay in this lane. No, oh, no, no, sorry, this one. Oh, this yeah. okay. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. First, I mean, it's, it's, just a, it's just a tall and white car that I... It's just quite surreal driving it. Yeah. Wow, it's quiet and a lot of people say that the sound system on this is the best they put in a Tesla. Is that true, Dennis? Yeah, I would say it's uh, pretty, it's very good. Uh, I'm not an audiophile, so I don't really know the differences, but it does sound really, really good. But going to like the, the, the noise cancellation, it's actually really nice. So if you go ahead and like open the window a little bit. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Can you hear that? Yeah, yeah. big yeah. difference. Now close it. Huge difference. Wow. Very, very good, nice, nice cancellation. Okay, just getting used to, to, like just training your brain again, there is no stock. So press the button on the, on the steering wheel. Now some people say when it comes to roundabouts, some button confusion may happen. What's your experience then? It's actually not too bad. I don't get too confused at all in the roundabouts, but I've been used to the buttons on the steering wheel for a long time now because I had the X and then the S before it. Yeah. And so I've been used to it. And actually, I don't go for like the, the stock anymore because it's just easier now. And usually the tunnel cover is closed because it actually gives you more range, more efficiency. And there's a digital rear view mirror. Yes. How is that? Uh, so it, the digital rear view mirror is pretty small. And uh, I wish it was maybe it maybe I wish it took up more of the size of the screen because when it does pop up, it's actually smaller than this right here. 
Oh, and uh, okay. so I wish it was a little bit bigger, but you can drag it to here. Yeah. Or sorry, you, you can drag it to here, which is a little bit nicer and bigger, but it's still not as big. I wish it just like took up more of the screen or, or something like that. Do you think something that says a software update away? Or it's a hardware thing as well? I think so, yeah. Software, The once people give more feedback about it, then Tesla will like update it and change it. But I mean, it's really nice that, you know, this is Tesla's first front camera yeah uh, and so I, I like having that In 500 feet there were rumors that it was supposed to come to the refresh sexy mm. range as well the front cameras they're not here yet hopefully in the future right what's the practical benefit of the front camera for you so when you're off-roading it's really nice to be able to see what you're about to run over yeah. uh, and then also with the turning radius with it being it's with it being so nice um, sometimes you feel like you're not going to be able to make a turn, mm. like doing a U-turn or something, but you can look at the front camera and you'll see that actually you have a ton of room mm. and space. Where like when you're inching up to like a parking space and like a car in front of you, you feel like there's not a lot of room, but the camera shows that you have a ton of room to inch up. So it's really nice. So you, get, you all can see that the user interface is so different here. Like the state of charge, 21%. Everything's like Cybertruck inspired design. So that sound is the sound of the, the batteries warming up for preconditioning. Exactly. This is quite fun size. It actually looks smaller than even the Model Y steering wheel. Exactly. Yeah. That's a lot of. That's what a lot of people say. They they feel like it's a lot smaller. Yeah. Um, and that, but it's like, it, it feels like it's too small for the truck. <laughs> it does feel like a a mini steering wheel for a truck this big. Exactly. Which is ironic, right? This is Tesla's biggest vehicle, smaller steering wheel. Mm hmm. Yep. Well, there you go. <laughs> Dennis, can you tell everyone what inspired you to get this car? Uh, I guess like I've had all the Teslas, the 3YSX, and um, you know I like trying new things. I, I, I like to think I have like car ADD, or I uh, like just wanted to try the all these the new stuff. I mean, we all like we all like technology, right? Yes. Like uh, that's why we are fans of Tesla, and so we always want to try the latest and greatest thing from Tesla. It's just very surreal driving the Cybertruck. Anyway. <laughs> Speechless. Yeah, because the Cybertruck, as you know, you all seen is in tour in China, in Japan, it's coming in Germany soon. For us in Singapore, we're not going to see the Cybertruck anytime soon. Singapore is the world's smallest car market. It's the world's most expensive cars. And I always tell everyone, if Tesla can sell a hundred and seventy thousand US dollar Model Three, you can sell a Tesla anywhere in the world. You exactly. see, even the folks next to us are looking at the Cybertruck. Everyone's looking at the Cybertruck. Yeah. It's freaking insane. <laughs> <laughs> are, are these extra tints in a window or you added your own Dennis? Yeah, so the, it's tinted on the side like all the way down to 20% and then the front is 50% and I had to do that immediately because everywhere you go people are just like looking and staring and taking out their phones and everything it's 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 nuts yeah, So again, if you get a Cybertruck in Singapore, government is very strict, you can only tint up to I think 30% so everyone's still going to see you. You're still going to be a fishbowl in Singapore. <laughs> it's unbelievable. You watch these YouTube videos. I watch all those YouTube videos as well, but it's so easy to drive this car. The steer by wire, you have to experience it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's like reading a book about a roller coaster. Yeah, I guess so, uh, yeah. yeah people, you'll be watching your YouTube videos and wondering, what's the big deal? Yeah. Once you try it, you drive it, it's the big deal. You won't go back to a non steer by wire car. It's hard. I mean, you will if you have to, but you won't by choice. Yeah, it's really nice. Like steer by wire, it, it's so much less effort because every turn you do, the car just goes in that direction. And so it's it, it's actually like saves you a lot of energy when you're driving because you don't have to like go hand over hand or all these big turns when you, when you need to go around. It's so easy to drive the Cybertruck. It's insane. <laughs> actually, I think a driving school student will find the Cybertruck easier to drive than the Model X. Definitely. Damn. <laughs> And look at this, like, it's so angular, everything is so angular. Does the Cybertruck fit into all the charging styles and superchargers, or you got to find specific ones? You're going to stay on this lane, yeah. Um, so for the most part, they do fit in all the charger stalls, um, but you have to get really close to the back. So you'll see when I you see. back up here, okay. uh, because the cables are not long enough. Mm. Have, you, have you tried this on any of the V4 superchargers yet? Uh, the, so the closest one is like eight hours away. You can get in the right lane. Okay, so no, none really in California. No, right yeah, not yet. Okay. But I do want to try one. So see where that Tesla is leaving? You're going to go in there. Okay. 
my mind so was back into that first one. Yeah. My mind was preparing to make a much sharper turn and the car was just fully locked in already. Okay. So now swipe, yep. Yeah. Swipe down the reverse. Wow. Yeah. You don't have to actually reverse that much to to get to where you need to get to. Yeah, just want to be careful because it's such a big car. Yeah, no, you can turn it all the way to the right. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Look at how easy it is to just get into where you need to get to. This is much, much easier than the X for sure. Okay. So uh, I think you need to go a little, a little bit, bit closer. More? Yeah. Okay. And you're good. So you can see right there the pole is, is good. So, okay. Backing yeah. in a bit more. Okay. Should be good. Okay. Here we go. And tap P. Let's head out. Okay, first time charging a cyber truck. So you press the button here. Oh, is the manual open? No, it's, this is the unplug uh, cover. Oh, okay. The fiber. Here we go, and again, this is the North America charging standard. So light, so easy to use. We plug it in, and you can see right now it is still white. We're still waiting for a connection to happen. Huh. I wonder if this one is perfect. Or maybe the stall is not working. Let me try to plug it out and in again. This two D. Oh, this one's out of order. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go to the next long. We're going to pull it to another one. And let's do it. Second time's a charm. Open the charge port cover. Plug it in. Okay. Blue means it's calibrating, it's connecting. Okay, you can hear it. Green means it's charging. First time charging the cyber truck. First time driving it. This car is freaking cool, that is. Yeah, no, it's a trip for sure. Now there's so much to love about this car. What's one thing you think can be better about the Cybertruck? Uh, I guess like the fingerprint issue that they need to figure out, but a lot of people are wrapping it or doing PPF and color wraps and things like that. Uh, the other thing, this door is super heavy. So like it's fine for you know guys, I would say, but you know significant others, children, things like that, it's gonna be tough for them to get in. Uh, and then maybe some of the sharp edges, they need to figure that out because just in case, uh, I guess like either way, if you were to slam your hand on a car it's going to be bad no matter what um, but uh, yeah those are like the two things and then also updates autopilot full self-driving parking sensors those things need to they need to come i guess especially for paying a hundred yeah. whatever everything is still manual right now yeah. and because you also own a model x even though on numbers the cyber truck has a bigger frunk some some people like kim java says it's a bit less usable because of how it's designed yes what's your can you show us the, tr yeah. the front and also your personal experience using it? So, I mean, even though the front is really small, I do like it that it's a first uh, motorized front, which makes it a lot more usable for people to put stuff in there because all the other ones, like the Model Y, the Model 3, you have to do it manually. And I don't like pushing my hands on it manually, so I do like how it's a powered one. But in terms of space, it's not bad. You put like a backpack and carry-on, so it works. But I mean, my favorite part is that it's motorized, so I can just hit it and then be done and it closes. Very cool. Yeah. Dennis, thank you so much again for the tour and also the first drive experience on your Cybertruck. Please subscribe to Dennis on his YouTube channel and also on all his other social media. You'll find the links down in the video description. And if you found this useful, please click the like button and hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. Signing off from California. Sweet.